All right, hey, this is Joel DeRoss. Um, I am giving you a quick tutorial on Real Time Board to show you how I use it to manage a creative business and um, career. So, a uh, little introduction to me. Um, I've got multiple projects, one being a music project, obviously, which is called Cymatic Empire, um, where I co produce with. Uh, Zach Wood and uh, Was O'Neill on guitar, keys and drums. Um, I also have a business doing virtual reality festival planning called Metavents, uh, which also has two other projects um, which you can look into if you like. One's called Concrete Exodus and the other one's Rock Against Poverty. And I also run Future Music Industry Network um, and I predominantly do a lot of research around emerging technology in the music and events industry. I do a bit of consulting, startup advising mentorship I speak a lot and do uh, guest lectures I also do um, graphic web UI UX uh, design and produce my own events so wearing so many hats uh, is really difficult to manage and I found that this particular tool is just fantastic when you're doing heaps of things at the same time so I have one real-time board that actually has all of these projects in one place and I wouldn't be able to manage all of them um, the way that I do without this tool so I've created a separate board um, just to focus in on how a band or a um, you know, uh, if you're a music producer can actually utilize this tool to you know build your brand um, manage your career and um, yeah and just collaborate better with people so without further ado, um, let's dive into what makes real-time board so amazing and the fact that it's a real-time uh, infinite scrolling canvas. So it means that I can deposit anything that I want from documents to videos to audio, um, you know, spreadsheets all in one place and I can make it really easy to navigate. So what I've done here is I've broken up um, you know, really important aspects of what I do and what I need to know about into these uh, four main sections. This is pretty much just about you know, how we run our particular uh, brand, our brand identity, our release schedules, you know, budgets, login details, uh, you know, tracks that I want to reference against so I can actually play a song directly from SoundCloud here. and I can get a track from somebody else that I'm trying to reference against and, and put that here. Um, over over here is the record label that we're with, so we're with Up Records. If you were to click this link, it'll actually take you directly to the um, Beatport page, which is really awesome. Um, so what I've done in this section is I've got a bunch of um, artists that I would say are the benchmarks for Up Records, and this is uh, you know Porat and. Um, <clears throat> An upgrade so I've put some of my favorite tracks here just to always have a quick access to um, you know what what makes these tracks so amazing and and that's the sort of standard that we're, we're trying to reach with our own productions over here is just a bunch of YouTube videos which is mainly ethnic sort of stuff um, that I use for inspiration when I'm making music and under here is all the different labels that ultimately we want to get you know singles out on compilations so if i was to click on nano it would take me to uh, their beatport page and i would basically just evaluate what's in their top 10 and try and get an understanding of you know the style is, that's you know popular at the moment level of production and just just uh, easy access to uh, some inspiration and ideas um, so under here, obviously, if you're an artist, you want to be playing gigs. So uh, I haven't actually uh, put the links in this. Um, it, I, I should have. Um, but these are links to festival databases. Um, so pretty much every festival is in Australia, Europe, and the US in the click of a button, and I can quickly see, you know, what parties I want to try and, uh, you know, try and get gigs with around the world and over here is where I'll be setting up a massive database of the best YouTube tutorials 
on uh, really specific things. So I'm going to break it down into FL Studio and Ableton, which are the two doors that I use. Uh, I'll have some sections where I can just click on these buttons and it'll zap me over to where I've got a collection of videos on these specific things. Um, over here is pretty much my plugin wish list. So all of the plugins that I want to start working with have all got their little showcase videos here. And under here, I'm also a designer as well. So I'm going to put a bunch of uh, tutorials for Photoshop, After Effects, and um, you know Illustrator. And these is just really useful for me to have access to that knowledge when I need it. Um, but I want to really focus in on how this can be used in branding and just to show you the process that we went through to get our uh, brand identity all sorted out. Um, and it all began with this particular image here. So the kind of backstory behind Cymatic Empire is that, um, oh, I'll read it here. So Cymatic Empire are energetic beings that come from a dimension of sound and light. They have been summoned by the collective consciousness to battle dark energies that have reached critical mass and threaten Earth. An artifact has been created with instructions to open a portal between dimensions. This information is communicated to the collective consciousness and received through dreams by individuals who can fulfill the instructions. When the Chosen find the artifacts, their mission is to use the universal language of music and dance to tune people into a specific emotion frequency through creativity, music, art, performance, and story. When enough people are tuned in, to, uh, tuned in, a gateway between worlds will open, through which Cymatic Warriors will pass through in order to vanquish the evil energies that have plagued humanity for millennia. So the whole thing about Cymatic Empire is that we are trying to go well beyond just making music. We are looking at how we can incorporate every piece of technology that I've been researching over the last few years, like augmented reality, virtual reality, mixed reality, uh, alternate reality gaming, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, 360 video, you name it. We're trying to bring all of those technologies together and reimagine what an album is like, what music creation and experience uh, can be like. And the best way to really explore those is with stories, with narrative. Um, so we're really looking at how we can build a story that can translate really well into other things that would ultimately be new forms of revenue for us. Um, Things like, you know, uh, a, a graphic novel or a video game, potentially a feature film, um, and just trying to find ways that we can engage the audience more than just um, listening to our music. So the, we've we've purposely created a story that means that when people are listening to our music on the dance floor and they're enjoying it, they know that they're contributing to this outcome which is eventually going to lead to this portal opening up and the you know the world being saved so it's it's engaging people in this narrative where they feel a part of something bigger so um that's that's the core idea behind um Simonic empire which means that our branding needs to be so on point everything needs to have meaning it needs to be connected to each other so what we've done is we've really gone all out in trying to construct our identity and um, and make it really consistent across all of our different um, online properties. So this was the initial inspiration uh, for the artifact, which is where the Cymatic Empire story starts. And I'm able to use real-time board to collaborate directly with the visual artists. We can use this, um, you know, we can use this and make comments and have chats uh, directly from uh, real-time board. Uh, we can screen share, we can uh, use messages. Um, and so it's really effective for uh, creating design briefs. And I've done some mood boards here where I've um, you know, got some inspiration for what the portal is actually going to, put, to look like, which is going to be at the back of this um, statue. And then we've uh, gone into just some general design themes. And um, these are going to appear a lot more in later iterations of Cymatic Empire branding. But just to give you an idea of uh, some of um, 
you know the the design elements that we're going to be using um yeah this this uh, paints a pretty good picture um to the extent that we're even creating our own language or uh you know typography and these are some of the inspirations this actually comes from a, a video game called infinite loop um, and we're going to be looking at in some of our virtual reality music videos how can we incorporate puzzle games within the listening experience so that the listener can unlock secret or unreleased music or other VR experiences within a immersive video clip essentially. Um, so based on this brief these are some of the initial concepts that came uh, out of it and from that as the you know, creative director, I was able to then feed off this and then um, I quickly mocked this up based on just some um, images that I found straight from real-time board. So I'll just quickly show you this. I can go to here and do a Google image search directly from here. and then just drag and drop these images straight into um, real-time board. And I actually mocked this up pretty much based on images that I'd, I'd grabbed from uh, the Google image search, brought that into Photoshop and then uh, polished it up a little bit. Then we got um, this uh, other draft and from there um, we polished up a little bit more and this was pretty much the, the, the final draft. Um, and then from that, I was uh, wanting really something to, to create a bit of a, a portal vibe that would translate well into a uh, YouTube promo video. And um, so we got this uh, little template here. And these are just some examples of other screenshots. And this is the final album cover and uh, just one of the different angles that we got. And uh, over here, so this, this little section here is pretty much where all the final stuff ends up. These are all different banners uh, for social media. And I'll load this up with uh, all the different assets that are going to be required for like SoundCloud and YouTube and Instagram. Uh, all just with a, a click, I can actually download these images directly from real time board. Um, so this is an example of what the final uh, YouTube video looks like. Yeah. Yeah, so that is um, a track off our upcoming album, uh, The Artifact, and uh, over here is where we've um, uh, pretty much designing all of our merch. So there'll be things like, you know, uh, desktop wallpapers, mobile phone wallpapers, uh, we've got clothing coming out. Uh, the interesting thing about the clothing is that these will all be uh, augmented reality um, uh, enabled, which means that we'll have an app and when you hover that app over the clothing or it could be a flyer or a poster, it'll actually recognize that image and activate an animation. So that animation that you just saw before would play on the screen and you would be able to uh, download our album directly to your mobile device um, and purchase uh, tickets, share that to social media. But the best thing is that we'll actually be building a lot of our technology on Holochain, which is a superior alternative to blockchain. And the benefit is that as soon as somebody purchases that, the, uh, the, the payments is automatically distributed and broken up into, you know, the, um, uh, the percentage splits to, to the right people, including the designers. And we get that instantly. So rather than waiting a quarter for your, you know, um, sales reports from labels or digital distributors, it's actually instant, um, which is really awesome. So... <clears throat> Over here, we've just got um, where I mocked up what the website was going to look like, some examples uh, over here, and um, this is the, 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 the final um, uh, sort of draft of, of the website, and I'll just quickly show you that here. Yeah, so this is, um, what's that not playing? Home in on my voice. 
So yeah, so this is what the final website looks like. Uh, it's still a, a bit of a mock-up, there's a lot more to do, but um, this, yeah, it's, it's, it's been uh, a real breeze doing our whole branding, collaborating with different artists on this platform. Um, but something that I'm um, really keen to do is build this out in a way that is kind of like a, I guess, a guide um, to other artists as a, as a way to um, also manage their, um, you know, their careers. And I'll include a, a whole bunch of sections over here um, that really talk about, um, you know, things like how to how to do invoicing you know what sort of um, do you need to use a project management tool and um, you know what what are uh, networking opportunities and just just uh, general tips and advice um, but ultimately everything's going to be contained within this one thing with uh, the way that we've managed our particular um, uh, project as an example um, so if you would like to uh, receive this um, real-time board example plus a whole bunch of other tutorials that will help you uh, manage your career with tools like this and, and others um, just find us on um, uh, on our Facebook page give us a like and a share and um, we'll be sure to keep you posted with any new tutorials um, so I'll leave it there thanks for listening and yeah check us out on um, Facebook catch up